I always talk about this to, to folks at Microsoft, especially developers. What's the most important operating system you'll write applications for? It ain't Windows, or the Macintosh, or Linux. It's Homo Sapiens version 1.0. <laughs> it shipped about 100,000 years ago. There's no upgrade in sight, but it's the one that runs everything, right? Yeah. We do have them. Now, what's interesting is the technology that's grown, the applications that have grown on top of that operating system. One of the biggest applications shipped about 5,500 years ago, version 1, reading and writing. Yeah. Writing systems first appeared in the Fertile Crescent of Mesopotamia, modern day Iraq, actually. Yeah, that was why the, you remember the looting of that museum in the yes. Iraq war? That was why it was such a tragedy, because it had some of the clay tablets that have the earliest recorded writing uh, of the human race. Yep. Right? Um, so reading and writing appeared five and a half thousand years ago. And they staggered along in version, you know, various versions for a while, until about 550 years ago, a guy called Johannes Gutenberg in Mainz, Germany, developed writing version 2, which was the, the automated mechanised writing. And the world took off at that point. Now, I always say the same thing to people, to people at, uh, at Microsoft. You know, we think we're so civilised. We've got cars, boats, planes, trains, you know, all computers, cell phones, all that stuff. We're still Homo sapiens 1.0, a hunter-gatherer. Yeah. Our perception system works that way. We have this focal plane area that we, we, we focus on stuff that we want to pay attention to. It's no coincidence it's about the length of our arms, or <laughs> as you get older like me, it's about a foot long. I have taken the mic off, excuse me. Um, you know, it's about the length of our arms, or as you get older, it's about a foot longer than your arms. Um, it's where we pick stuff up to look at, it's where we invented tools and technologies. At the same time, how we interact with the world, how we triage information, how we decide whether to pay attention to something or not, that's all going out there in the periphery. Um, so reading and writing was invented in this focal plane. And it's all driven by an area in the human retina that's 0.2 of a millimetre across called the fovea. It has one and a half degrees of arc, you know. We think we read smoothly through text, and that's not what's going on at all. A guy called Emile, uh, Emile Javal, a French oculist, found in 1906, we fixate on a target of five to seven characters, and then we jump, since he was French, he called it saccade, to the next target, and so on. And we jerkily move through all this, but our brain blanks out the movement, otherwise you'd get motion sickness when you were reading. And then pieces it all together, and we think it's all happening smoothly, but that's not what's going on at all. Anyway, Gutenberg's technology shipped 550 years ago, and it changed the world. None of us would be here. Microsoft would not exist. None of our modern science, technology, medicine, all this, it's all built off the foundation of reading. Yeah. Because if you can't read, if you don't have a writing system, then you pass things on by an oral tradition, and you can't really build on the generations that went before. Absolutely. And so we've seen in that 550, all of our economic prosperity, everything is built off reading and writing. Yet we take it absolutely for granted. Yeah. Because we all learn to read when we're about four or five years old and we've forgotten the miracle of the technology and how it works. 